How to Change the Time Zone in Jenkins. By default, the Jenkins controller uses the time zone that's set on the controller that it's installed on. In many places, server administrators like to use UTC as their time zone. However, that server may be installed in Eastern Time or Central European Time or anywhere else in the world. If everyone that's using that Jenkins controller is in that same time zone, it's really nice to be able to see the time that you're actually in. In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of different ways that you can set up the time zone on your Jenkins controller. So here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.332.2. And right now, the time zone on the server that this Jenkins controller is installed is set to UTC. And the way that we can check that is one of two ways. I can either type date, which it shows UTC, or the other way is I can take a look at Etsy local time. Now I'm CentOS, so it may be different on your distribution. But you can see here that Etsy local time is pointing at UTC. So I can either run date or I can take a look at Etsy local time. Let's go create a job so you can see what's going on. I have a new item. I'll just call this time zone. We'll do pipeline, click OK. And I'm just going to select hello world. I'm not going to make any changes. Now let's click on build now. And what you'll notice down here in the build section is that the time, according to this, is at 1.41 p.m. However, where I'm at right now, it's actually 9.41 a.m. And actually, we can see that as it's rendered here within the stage view. This 9.41 is my local time. So what I would like, since I'm in Eastern time zone, I would like to be able to see Eastern time on not only the stage view, but also in my build time. There's a few different ways that we can do this. First off, I'm going to show you the way to do it if you are a Jenkins administrator. Let's go back over to our shell. And what we're going to do is we are going to edit our override comp file for system D. So I'm going to say sudo system CTL edit and then Jenkins. And what I'm going to do for my Java ops, I'm going to add in two extra system properties. So let's go to the end of the line and then we'll talk about what I have here. And what I've added in are two different system properties that point at the same time zone. So first off, we have org Apache Commons Jelly Tags FMT Time Zone. And secondly, I also have user.timezone. Down in the description of this video is a link to the documentation that explains the difference between these two system properties. As a default, I always set both of them. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and do a restart. So sudo systemctl restart. Jenkins. And we have to do the restart because the changes that we made were to system properties for startup. So in order for those to take effect, we have to do a restart of the service. So now that's restarted, let's go back, click on dashboard. We'll have to log in again. Let's go to our job. And what you'll see, we have our 941 still showing up under stage view. But now our build history is now showing 941. So it's now reflecting the time zone that we set for our startup parameters. Now, the second way of setting your time zone is specific to the user that you are logged in as. Let's assume for a moment that you do not have the administrative privileges to add those two system properties that I just set. Or the other way to think about it is, right now, this server is in the Eastern time zone and I've set all the time zone information to be Eastern. But for a moment, let's imagine that I'm living in the Central time zone. So I want my times to be showing one hour behind what's currently showing. So the way to do this is we'll go up to our user, we'll click on configure, we'll scroll to the bottom, and we'll see a user defined time zone. By default, the value is default. So it's going to use whatever the system time is. And in our case, that's Eastern time. Let's go and find America and let's pick Chicago because that's central time. So we can see here that the current time on the server is 946 Eastern, the proposed display zone is now going to be 846. So let's go ahead and click on save. Let's go back to dashboard, click into time zone. And now what we'll see is we still see stage view being set to 941, which is okay because that's when it ran. But my build history is now reflecting 841, which is now central time. So there you have it. You have two ways. If you have administrative privileges, you can set the time zone using system properties in your startup, or 
If you don't have administrative privileges, you can go into your user and you can set whatever time zone that is associated to your specific user ID. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.